Hello and welcome to this Corel Draw Graphics Suite 2019 tutorial for Mac. In this tutorial we will explore the new Pixel Perfect workflow that is akin to a line to pixel grid that you will find in Adobe Illustrator. Apart from the popular print formats, Corel also allows for fantastic web sizes and here we've chosen 960 by 960, ensuring we're working at sRGB and let's go ahead and click OK. Again, very similar to the Illustrator experience. We'll go ahead and add a page frame by double clicking the edge of the page. Click OK. Then let us get rid of the outline and apply a fill. We want to use a very specific palette in this case. RGB makes sense. So we'll head over to the Palettes Inspector to do that. We'll apply a color. And I'd like to bring in a logo lockup. So I'll head over to the Connect Content Inspector. This is akin to libraries in the Adobe world. Here we have this logo lockup and we'd like to get rid of the background rectangle. So simply heading over to the Objects Inspector, selecting the rectangle and clicking on the trash can will do that for us. So to show you how this works, we're going to head over to the Properties bar and disable Align to Pixels. And then we're going to arbitrarily stretch this object so we actually do create a problem. I'll go over to the Enhance view and zoom in, and as you would expect, you're getting crisp outlines. Yet when we jump to the Pixel Preview mode, you'll notice that the artwork gets a little furry due to anti-aliasing. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll align to Pixel Grid. There's two ways you can do that, by way of a right click, quick and easy. In this case, we'll head over to the Align and Distribute Inspector. And this is very similar to the transform function that you find in Illustrator. One click and job done. I'm reminding myself to switch on the snap options for pixels once again for future artwork. Do remember to do that. And now we're ready to export this file. So we'll head over to File, Export to, and we have a number of options. In our case, we're going to choose Web. And this is very similar to the Save for Web or Export for Screens functionality that you'll find in Illustrator. The dialog allows you to check for different speed download times as well as different file formats, namely PNG, GIF, and JPEG. 